Hello YouTube, JW Solo USA. Well, I just want to give you guys a heads up. This is the first time I've heard uh, the turbo fan. This uh, inverter has a big giant fan in here. I don't know how, how many uh, much the millimeter. I can feel the air coming out from this, cooling the uh, inverter because it's uh, getting uh, really warm. And uh, you guys can see what is going on here because uh, I decided to charge the batteries since uh, lack of uh, sun and you guys can see the power that is going back to the batteries because this system has been running almost uh, it runs about three days with no um, solar and uh, we dropped to this is the first time ever I brought it down to below 80 always runs about 80 percent that's it so it went out to 97 so I decided to cut it off in three days okay so folks this is what is happening right now and I decided to charge the batteries I never heard this thing and mind you this is the second time I put this system into a charging which um, I decided to do because I don't want to go below that I don't want to compromise my batteries and uh, I decided to charge them which uh, I suppose uh, everybody is doing anyway um, some people don't tend to just talk about it but um, this is how it is and first time I can hear the turbo fan kicks in you can see there's a little amber light right there you can tell from the control they said the aux auxiliary so on the schematics right here or diagram you can see aux plus and minus and you see um, the amber color I say status and batteries so the the amber color right there is telling you <clears throat> the device is connected to the grid so it's taking grid power but well, folks like I, I, I'm saying I've never seen that amber light right there never seen it came on read about it I know about it but uh, first time so as soon as the system fired up like this after a while being warm and nice almost cool down the thing is just pouring I can tell what's the uh, the wind speed on that thing but I'm telling you for real the the air that is just blowing off from this thing and all the way up to the unit is crazy it's really crazy but we're bringing 23.5 amps back to the batteries and charging them okay so at least I can help the system tomorrow uh, I tend to be a little bit uh, sun whatever it is a uh, lot of overcast so I'm not expecting anything at the month of January you know because January is always like that but we are uh, charging here and the turbo fan kicks in big time the little fans were just in, in internally they were just rumbling there you know so I think the system sense that well it's enough of this and they have to call for Big Brother to to help so that's how the fan just kicks in so it's approximately about three minutes now the fan just uh, start up when I grab uh, as soon as they start up I grab the camera but now it has been running approximately three uh, two to three minutes here so I want to see how far this system can go and it shut off and cool down the entire unit right there and uh, stay tuned folks JW Solar USA thanks for watching and God bless well we're hoping for the new year to be here and be a good one for everybody each and every one of us and we can see how the system goes well folks please subscribe like and share and uh, I'll give you a heads up again when uh, the system cool down so time right now is uh, 10 
22, 21 hours right here from the station. Okay? Bye for now. Alright, folks, you see what it does. This thing is designed in a way that it pushes the air back all the way from this curve thing so they can cool the unit from the back. And as you know, it's always like um, um, the hot air always runs, the hot air rises, you know, cool, the cold condenses. So, what it's doing right now is pushing cold air to cool this uh, one old uh, heat sink on the side. And that's exactly what the system is doing and cooling down from the bottom and the bottom is the place where the transformer is from the um, from this unit it has a built-in transformer which is a huge transformer that does the job for this um, um, unit which is built in with an inverter charger okay so folks I hope um, uh, able to um, answer your questions and you guys that normally have uh, kind of issues understanding some of this uh, stuff but if you're new don't worry because you have a lot of time to learn so pay attention to the video pay attention to a lot of the other stuff so if you're about to transition to this uh, um, um, project or hobby then you know what's going on you don't have to panic like someone else is the first time you know, being in solar, you so what is going on now? They've been panicking, all that kind of stuff. Maybe trying to get into out back and call them and see what's going on, or call a friend, know a friend. But you don't have to worry about it. It's normal. Like I said, I never heard it. I know it's there. When I installed it, I saw the fan, and it is supposed to be connected to the aux, and it's there. It said the the amber light, which is this one here, will turn on if uh, the turbo fan kicks in and that's exactly what it's doing and by doing this I know the system is working so I don't have to worry in the future if something happened and I'll, I'm not gonna say hey the inverter blew up because you know maybe tech support will ask me the fan did the turbo fan kicks in no oh, never heard anything but now today the system has already proved itself by telling me that hey I'm here and I can do the job and I'm working so some of these things are really good for tests you know never experience it but it works always run cool never make no noise no fans running even at 1500 1600 watts I'm pulling off the system never cough well today it proved itself folks it proved itself and this is how the system runs and for you guys who are wondering, what is this? Well, this is for my 12 volt system, for my uh, charging my um, DC system for the lights. So someone asked me a question about that one. I said, I never knew that you have a 12 volt. So there I do. My, my lights are all on 12 volts, so I don't run them through uh, inverter or something because I don't want any loss on efficiency, conversion, and all that good stuff. But all that bad stuff. So I want it to be very efficient. That's why I run it on 12 volts. And folks, you guys can see my lights are all in 12 volts. So only thing that goes, the only thing that someone would think probably uh, losing efficiency conversion is when we are taking the power DC to the inverter, trying to convert it to AC to power heavy loads. But that's the only thing. But I'm not losing any power. Three days of runtime into my batteries without being charged, they drop up to 79%. Good. I don't run my batteries all the way below 80%. 80%, that's it. Okay? Some people say, oh, well, you don't even do, you don't push the system that much. Yes, I don't want to push it because I value the batteries. They're expensive. So, this is it. And this is it. And this is the way I run my system. Okay, this is me. Some people can drag them all the way 50%. I don't want to. Okay? Well, love you guys and take care. Be good. Stay. Stay uh, um, um, happy. And uh, take care of others. And uh, answer as much questions you want. 
when people ask you uh, some questions on YouTube, help them out. This is how we're here for. Thanks for watching and all the good stuff. Happy New Year. Please subscribe. All right, we are back again. And uh, from um, 22, 21 hours to 22, 46, you do the math and calculate. Because I'm not going to do all everything for you guys. You work it out on your head and see um, how many minutes was that. Okay? Well, if I can help a little bit, I think it's uh, approximately uh, 24 minutes of runtime. Because we started at um, 22, 21, and we went to 22, 46 so approximately, approximately about 25 minutes, okay? 25 minutes of runtime. The turbo fan just went down, shut off, cool to the touch. Really, really cool. System is doing awesome, awesome. Oh, my God, I can feel even here it's like cold they, they, you know you just take something off like a chiller you know you can feel that chill so system is running good and he's doing the job he's bringing almost uh 20 amps to the batteries it's 90 percent right now so i can show you guys how much we um buying from the grid as of now it's 1200 okay 1200 watts well when the system started it was putting about 26 amps to the batteries and it was pulling about 1500 watt and you know because of the transfer switch switch inside that thing the load was connected to the batteries as soon as I flip the breaker so that I can able to charge the batteries back and trust me folks I have to do another review about this device here. The transition is not like a blink of an eye at all. You cannot notice it. If I, uh, I turn off the breaker, folks, you would never, never know that the power went down or anything. And if I'm about to charge it and flip the breaker on, you will see this light right here. The orange light, amber color, is going to be blinking back and forth, back and forth with a green light for the inverter and transition really smooth with no blink and nothing, even the loads can't even tell at all. That's how good is this Outback. And I recommend this, folks. I recommend it. Everybody has whatever they believe, whatever. But so.
it doesn't go through the transfer through the he was the transfer thing and uh the heat sink gets coming I think is that bye bye subscribe like help